Hey, thank, welcome to the Baker Bureau. Right now I'm making a breakfast casserole for my family. You want to get a pan, either spray it with vegetable oil or grease the pan yourself. A small can of uh, biscuits, whether flaky or not. Cut them up in uh, little corners or just cut up in little pieces or don't. You can bake them however you want. And what I do is I put this in the oven. I don't bake it completely, just enough to where, you know, it's puffed and nice and brown because eventually I'm going to put this in the oven again. In this case, my filling is going to be uh, sausage, mushrooms, and onions and peppers. But you can really use whatever filling you want. I mean, this is a fairly simple dish to make. So I, I, I seasoned it with uh, salt, pepper, and oregano. But again, you can season it with whatever seasonings you like. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour the meat mixture over the biscuits. The reason I cut them up is so it can go in between the biscuits as well. But again, you can put it as a flat center or just cut it up in however part you want, or don't cut them up. But like I said, as you can see, I like it to spread it around to where it's in the nooks and crannies of the plate. And next, you're going to need four eggs, because we're going to do the egg mixture now that's going to go over the, uh, uh, the dish. Let's go ahead and beat these up. And there we go, this looks pretty good. And next, I'm going to use milk, a cup of milk. i use using whole milk in this case, but you can use whatever milk you want. Just a cup of milk should do it. Like I said, we're just creating an egg mixture that we're going to pour over the entree. So let me go ahead and make sure this is mixed up fairly well. That should do it. Next, like I said, we pour the egg mixture over everything. Pour it evenly. There we go. As you can see, it's already forming around everything in the in the in the pan so let's keep going make sure it's all out all right now to put the cheese over it I drink use sliced cheese but you can use shredded cheese whatever you like in this case I'm using a Kobe Jack and provolone but you can use whatever cheese you want I was going to put this in the oven and there's the finished product looks good doesn't it anyways thank you for watching the Baker Bureau and I hope to show you something else next time. You guys take care.